Yes, guys, and welcome back uh, for tuning into RG Handouts once again. And if you've seen my last video, you'll all know about this is the U console. Uh, it's powered by a CM4 uh, core, which my particular one is the CM4 4 gigabyte version. Um, it's on pre-order at the moment. It's a very highly anticipated handheld and the demand is high. I know a lot of people are still hanging in there trying to, uh, you know, compose themselves uh, and try to wait for the item. I know it's a very nice item. Hang in there, guys. You'll get yours soon, I'm pretty sure. Um, and today's video is all about emulation. What I've been doing is trying to set up RetroPie on this device uh, using, you know, the front head is emulation station, um, which I've downloaded and set up on RetroPie's uh, website. And it shows you how to actually install Ubuntu. I did hit a few um, problems on the way, but I have made a, um, like a uh, um, troubleshoot guide on the actual forum just showing you what kind of uh, things I encountered and how I got around them. Uh, and thanks to the community also for helping in there. And now we have, uh, as you can see, RetroPie all set up. I have gone ahead and mapped the buttons as well. All these buttons have been mapped. Uh, that was one of the issues also, uh, where these buttons would not map. Um, but I have let them know about that and there is a workaround like I say hit, get on the forum and check out uh, My guide on there and thanks again to the community. So what I've done I've connected up my 8-bito uh, Gamepad here you can see the green light there and it's connected via Bluetooth So we're all operational and running ready to go for some emulation and today We're just going to check out uh, a few emulators how it performs um that's the main purpose of this video i just want to show them users so without further ado let's go ahead and get into some emulation so what i've done here guys is just zoomed in uh, for you into the screen so you can see the screen a little better and we're going to kick it off with some um, mega drive as you can see it runs great there's no screen tearing whatsoever uh, it does run at 60 frames per second, take my word for that. You can actually see yourself. This video is being recorded in 4K Ultra HD uh, at 60 frames per second. So uh, that more than justifies uh, what you're seeing. I'm pretty impressed with the actual unit. So that was Sega Mega Drive using Pico Drive. Mario Kart 64 guys using the N64 emulator. Seems to be running well. The analog stick is mapped. I've mapped all the cores and forced it to use analog stick as well as the D-pad, which you can do within RetroPie settings. This is Doom guys uh, using uh, MS DOS. And it works very well. All the keys are actually mapped to everything already. I didn't have to actually map the keys, but you can go ahead and map the keys yourself. Uh, I'm using both the analog sticks to maneuver left and right and forward and back. Classic game. You can bring up a keyboard by L3, as you can see there. 
very nice. And the top band will bring up the menu, that will bring up the map. Here's some pico weight, Celeste, we all know this one. You can see it runs really good. Not very good at it though, as you can see. You can uh, adjust the um, aspect ratio, guys. I've just got it on full screen. So. Ridge Racer, PSP, guys. As you can see, it runs really good. Please excuse my driving skills here, guys. Well, let's check out some PSP Tekken 6. So I'm 32x virtual racing. Some Sega CD guys, Jaguar XJ220, one of my favorites. Motion detected at the front door. Excuse you, Alexa, guys. Some alien breed, too. Afterburner 2 using the arcade emulator.
Some game and watch guys. Parachute game. Got to watch them pesky shocks. Some game gear, guys. actually Doom on the Game Boy Advance. May look a bit pickleized but uh, you need to adjust the aspect ratio. As you can see it runs well. You can use the strap with the shoulder buttons. Some asteroids guys. Game Boy Color. Neo Geo. Some PC Engine guys, R-Type. Some Atari here, guys. Airdrop. Some Airwolf on Commodore 64, guys. So let's finish it off with some Game Boy.
So that is it guys, that was uh, basically RetroPie uh, and Emulation Station on the uh, U console. I will be adding a few more, more demanding emulators later on and do a, yet another video because I'm really intrigued to try and find out uh, how it does Dreamcast. I'm pretty sure Dreamcast will run pretty well. And a few other systems I wanted to add but I just didn't get time. But I hope you really enjoyed the video guys and just give you a little insight into what kind of performance uh, you'll get out of the system. Now I did, while I was um, doing the video, I did notice a little bit of screen tearing in some emulation. I'm not too sure what's going on there. When I did my first initial testing, um, everything was fine. So the thing is when you update uh, via sudo apt update and so on, it tends to update the drivers for the screen. That could be the issue or I'm going to have to investigate that. Um, or it could be something else, but it's not running too bad. As you can see, that was all shot in 4K. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you soon.